Hi guys, it's Vinko CS1977 here with another Xbox One video. Um, today it's something, something really cool, something um, a lot of people may have heard of but don't know what to do. It's with regards to installing an extra hard drive or a hard drive on your Xbox One. Okay, now unlike the PlayStation where you physically have to remove the old drive to put a new drive in, with the Xbox One we can actually just use a portable USB 3. Remember USB 3, eh? Um, because obviously you need to transfer data a lot quicker. So, um, with the USB 3 portable drive, I actually got a Dell which was kindly given to me by Kai. Um, I asked him if he had one for me and he didn't bought Dell Corporation, so they sent me one. So I've got a DAO 1 terabyte um, drive. Um, it is sufficient, as, as you can see. Um, I've used quite a bit of space already on my Xbox One. As you can see, I've only got 115 gigs. Um, however, I do have quite a bit of apps um, that are not running at the same time, but are available to me from the dashboard. Um, as well as my games, as you can see, FIFA, Forza, Forza, Horizon 2, Destiny, Battlefield, Need for Speed, Madden, Titanfall, Fusions, and Rivals. Um, and obviously that puppy. Okay, that's pre-ordered, pre-downloaded, all 46 gigs of it, so it is ready and waiting. So what I want to do is obviously transfer these games, or at least the games that I won't be playing. I'd like to transfer it over to the hard drive to free up space on my original. Um, just a kind a quick note is um, the cheaper um, USB 3 te 1 terabyte hard drives they normally uh, come with at 5400 5, RPM if you actually use a 7200 RPM that is actually um, faster than the one you've got inside the Xbox itself that actually speeds up um, the, the loading times of the games itself uh, I was probably I will almost probably test it out to see how quick it is to load from the, directly from the USB or from the portable drive. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to move across to my settings. Now the settings I've actually got into home because it's just easier to find for me. Okay, so going to settings. Um, now we will actually find it together right now. We're going to system. Should be a storage thing here update available so I've done an update manage storage maybe it shows me it's got all those goodies there I mean Xbox one can use two types of UB storage for games apps media apps all that other shit and has to be ex has to be formatted so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to plug the USB of the portable drive in at the back of the Xbox there actually is a port available to the right so I'm going to plug that in um, it's a brand new brand new hard drive so there is absolutely nothing on it I'd, I'd say remove whatever you have on yours so that you can have no worries because when you format it you are going to wipe it so Let's go to format storage device. Well, you can actually name it, and I'm gonna say um, Xbox One HDD port. Okay, now that's all. Enter. All things on us by default. So basically, what that means is that um, when I want to load new stuff or download new games, it will basically pick this up as my as my default, which I can say yes. That's what I want to do. And when formatting is done, you'll be able to use games and app format storage device. So while well, that is busy, um, yeah. So I believe I've done already that was quick it's already picked up the other hard drive and it's ready for use good stuff okay now let's get out of storage what I also want you to note or base basically change is that you can download in the background or in a standby mode 
on an Xbox. Uh, basically, you've got to make sure you've got instant on. Um, I've just used that because I've got to connect. Um, that obviously makes everything a lot easier as well, so that once there's an update available, it does it immediately. Um, and then obviously, that button. Click that um, so that obviously you do have power running to your external hard drive because if that hard drive is not being picked up, obviously, and it's set as I set mine to, the, to make that as a default, um, people won't order the people. The Xbox won't recognize a hard drive being available and it wouldn't be able to download um, future updates or purchases. Um, so basically, that is it. What I'm going to try and attempt to do now is actually move the data. Um, okay, let's get out of here and we'll go into games and apps and let's actually start with games I don't really play. Let's start with that. So, as you can say, manage, manage all data, move all. You're about to move one thing from internal to Xbox One HDD. Okay. Let's go out and maybe see if we can move all at the same time. Install storage device HDD1. You can see, you can go to it really easily. Go to internal. Um, go to games. Okay, let's go rivals. Uh, press the menu button, manage game, move all, and move. Hopefully that will work. Oh, maybe you see the background, see it's busy moving. So obviously it will take some time for game to move across to the other hard drive because obviously if you have copied if you have copied things from a USB onto your PC you know that it doesn't happen instantly but this seems to be going quite quick 16 gigs at 5 gigabits per second I suppose um, well that's not that you won't always get that through speed on your on your devices um, but it is moving quite quickly so it's probably be done you can say 20 20 gigs should be done in about two two minutes. Um, but anyway, that is how simple it is to actually upgrade your hard drive on the Xbox One. Um, if you have any questions, post the post your questions in the comment section. I will obviously try and keep up and answer all your questions. Um, yeah, I've used my Ogata to actually record this. So everything that you do have for your current Xbox 360. Can still be used for your or for your Xbox One, so upgrading is not really that much different or much, that much more expensive. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching the video. I hope it has helped you. And for those people who have considered going digital um, as opposed to hard copies these days, um, this is a great. This is obviously a great way to keep your library expanded or keeping as much games as you want at one time because obviously bandwidth does get expensive another neat trick is actually if you're lucky enough to get a have a friend who has a disc copy and you want to buy the digital what you can actually do is actually install the game from the disc um, give him the disc back and then buy your digital copy and boom you'll be able to use it from the get-go because obviously all the data that you're downloading is all the data on the disc um, I've actually done that with uh, Forza, Forza 5. Um, obviously, when I bought my Xbox One, which was about six, almost seven months ago now, um, I got the disc copy um, with the game. Um, and obviously, now when the South African stores launched, um, I've actually account sharing with um, Jax. And um, yeah, I can't, can't get away from the Somali. Anyway, um, he had the code, and I thought, okay, let me sell the physical copy of the game. And then I will just use the code to obviously keep it because obviously Forza is the game that I play. Um, or I'll follow the franchise. I mean, Horizon is not really something I, do. I play really. Um, this, for, this, this Need for Speed Rivals I do have only because 
I signed up for EA Access, which is amazing. It was 377 Rand. Um, basically, you saw Madden 25, Battlefield 4, as well as Need for Speed. Um, I can actually download uh, Plants vs. Zombies as well. That is also free right now. Because obviously, over a certain amount of time, certain games become free. Very similar to what the PlayStation Plus was. But obviously, these are AAA games from the e from the EA range. And um, what you also do get with that is... Um, for the 377 that's for 12 months you also do get 10% of all your EA purchase even with ultimate team but anyway gentlemen it's been fresh talking to you I uh, hope that some of you have learned something from this today um, I'm gonna basically do this to all my games right now because I also have another video that I am gonna make which is something for the PS4 but anyway Xbox one I have fun you have fun let's go Finko CS197 saying 1977